Rescue Data and Repair, der Ben, guten Morgen. <lacht> Rescue Data and Repair, my name is Ben, hello and good morning, welcome to the Micro Soldering Show and today we just uh, fix a little issue together, we do a board swap on a Samsung Galaxy S8. Let's start. By the way, you should register for Fixdesk. Fixdesk is an all-in-one repair management software developed uh, by us here in Germany um, over the last three years and it's just amazing so check it out thank you and we start right away i give you to the on hands camera i already prepared something here we have a ready prepared board okay for samsung galaxy s8 so this board is fine and we have a bad board here and we need to swap over the cpu the ram and the ufs so no problem we start right away and i start without using preheat here uh, or without using a heater here i just use my cutters so cutting off the shield to come to the cpu okay like this and like this this is pretty okay why I do it like that? Because on the Samsung boards you need a lot of heat for removing the shields and often you have issues later with the chips. So I just do it like that on the devices. Okay, remove the shield. Now it's all about getting off them chips. No problem, we go straight under the microscope. and take them chips off <laughs> one picture before And we, st we start with taking off the RAM. So we use the heat, hot air, and just Get off the rum first. And I always think that the clue on these Samsung boards smells like cancer. So be gently. And stay safe! So we took off the rum. It's time for removing the CPU. Like this. And now it's time to lift off the UFS. Eine Angebotsnummer. And done. Okay. Great. Now we just start by cleaning them parts.
Start by cleaning the EMFC or DUFS in this case. Now we take a wipe like this and we have a clean UFS. Clean around by just using the knife again. And cut the glue. Okay, cut the glue, next one, next one is the rum. Try to take off the glue and the solder almost in one step, okay? Now we need some hot air and a knife. Okay, now clean the glue around. And use a wipe for cleaning the chip. Now it's CPU, RAM side of the CPU first. I just used the knife for cut the glue around the CPU first. So I can fix it better in my fixture. Like 
this, okay. Now just add some flux. And here is the same, I try to I try to take off the solar and the glue in one step. Looks okay, other side. like this And okay, now we use a brush. Great. <laughs> All good. Now again cleaning the sides of the CPU, taking off the glue with the knife. And using a wipe. Okay. So. And now we just start the reball of the CPU. And for this, we need to take in the universal stencil. Let's see which mesh matches. This mesh looks good. This mesh looks pretty okay for doing this job. Okay. So what we do now is taking some fresh paste. Then we reball the CPU, after that we reball the RAM, then we reball the EMMC and then we get all together to new board. And then we should have a boot. Okay, what I see here is just a little dirt. Try to remove that. It's 
so. Okay. And we get in the paste. We we get in the paste like this. Okay. Now we take tweezers. And we take hot air. Or what we need. Or what we do here is just hand work. So it's not that machines doing the work, so swaps are always dead recovery swaps full function swaps like ever are always expensive because all what we do here is just hand work we do all with our hands and we don't use machines who who do things like that auto automatically okay so this is hand skill work So here we had a little bit of dirt, one point, this one here, see, so we have to replace that one point, the rest I think looks pretty okay, I just want to take a brush. Then some pressure there. And you see this looks good. And here we have the area where we had some dirt. Okay, and you see what happened in this area. So I can I can tell this to you. So we had dirt here. So because we had the dirt here the solar move to the other point here and now we just take a fresh point out of here this one and we get this one here. It's a little bit big, but I can cut it later. So, okay. okay. Now it's like that. And now it's just like Cutting a little bit away. And we are on the right way. Now we just add some flux and plast that thing one time again. Okay, now we have a nice looking CPU. It's always like you need to know what to do in situations like that. Same size balls everywhere. That's pretty okay. Oh, I cut a little bit. Yeah much better okay now we have the ram for the ram we need to take a ram stencil or universal not a problem too
Like you see these universal stencils I use a lot for Samsung and for Huawei. There are so many different meshes for using on chips, it's crazy. Okay. So again like here. Great. Reboiling the rum. Okay, like this, just adding some flux here. Removing some dirt here, see, it was some glue, reflowing. Okay, done. And now, where is my UFS? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And here is my UFS, yes. Storage chip. Put it down here. Oh, I have to clean the stencil, like you see. Great, add some paste. Take hot air. Done. Lift up the stencil, adding some flux. And we are done here, okay? So, now just a little picture and we can go on. Now it's about soldering them chips down and we start with the MMC or the UFS, sorry. So. Like this.
heating up. And waiting until the flux comes out at the sides. Done. Now we solder down the CPU. Just one picture. Like this. Hot air. <coughs> Wait until the flux comes out at the sides. See the flux is melting. Done. Wait a short time and then we sit down the ramp. So now we solder down the ramp. go wait until the flux comes out at the sides and the rum moves a little bit Oh, can I mehr anrufen? We are done. Like you see, well connected CPU, well connected RAM. So this looks pretty okay. And now I just turn on the on hands camera and we go directly here. Okay, oh, main cam. This one I wanted to deactivate that. Okay, so we have the right board and now we can have a look if we get a boot for this device so I don't know if the battery is charged in this case so I oh yes it is charged and as you see we have a boot Samsung Galaxy S8 
swap within exactly 30 minutes I think that's a pretty good time here you can see the board I don't know for personal data so in this case I have to keep it like that you can see boot is normally boot is normal and I don't know for any personal background images so oh, yeah, and, and it was a personal image it was a personal image yeah it, it, it was a woman so and let's wait I go to the okay here you can see device works we are back to life again and we got all the important data out of this phone for the customer okay and this within 30 minutes all done by hand work by hand skill not by using any machines or anything so always think on if you mail in devices for fixes like that or for data recoveries like that always think it's all done by hand we don't use machines to do anything uh, automatically so please respect that and um, accept the prices for these jobs um, we have the highest success rate so just um, just get your phone here and um, I'm sure we can help you if you need your important data out of any Android device out of any Apple device just let us know your problem mail your device and we are here for getting your data okay that's rescue so I hope that you like the video I would be very happy if you would subscribe the channel if you would give some thumbs up if you comment uh, the video things like that would be very very great and yeah by the way I would be very happy if you would buy our ICC Pro ICC Pro is developed here by our team uh, right in Germany and um, a device which every technician in the whole world needs and you should register for fixed desk uh, not for fixed desk <laughs> you should register for our Facebook group smartphone repair group Germany but please answer the questions otherwise you uh, can't be accepted and fixed desk you should register too so I'm out we see you with the next video and I wish you a nice day stay safe stay healthy goodbye